Hey everybody, I'm kind of between projects right now, waiting to hear from a few people. I got in the mood to do something today that I've been putting off for a really long time. I'm going to try to submit some of my music to a music library. So I thought I would show you what that all looks like, because part of the reason I haven't done it is because I didn't know what the deal was with all of it. So if you don't know what a music library is, it's basically a source online where filmmakers, podcast people, uh, whoever, uh, video game creators, uh, they can go online and find music, sound effects. There's also video and photo stuff on there too. If they find a piece of media that they like, they can either pay individually to use a piece or more and more of their subscription models where you pay a certain amount each month and the money gets divvied up. I really don't know how that works. No, we'll find out. There are dozens maybe hundreds of different music libraries you can send your stuff to. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and sign up to try to be a part of two different music libraries today. I've heard that one of them's really good, I've heard that one of them's really easy to get into. The two that I'm gonna to try to get into today are Pond5 and Audio Jungle. So here, I'll walk you through the sign-up process. We have a guest. So I'm gonna take three or four of the pieces that I wrote. Okay, pumpkin's done. So I'm going to take three or four of the pieces that I wrote back in March in my Compose 31 Pieces of Music in 31 Days Challenge. You can check it out here. So I'm going to pull those files up in Logic and do some final tweaking of levels and whatnot, make sure that I feel good about it, and then upload them. So if you're interested in signing up as an author, you need to go to pond5.com and scroll down to the bottom. You can click where it says Sell Your Media, and then Get Started and you can sign up it'll ask you to put information in right here once you're done with that it'll take you to the second step where you, it'll ask you to take a picture of your id and send it in so they can verify your identity then you'll verify your email and once you get past that you'll be able to access you'll be able to access your account and start uploading it'll look something like this whenever you get started i haven't uploaded anything yet but basically you can change your thumbnail and all that stuff and then you just upload it. As you can see, I'm still waiting for them to verify my identity before I can start uploading. First, I'm just going to click upload new file and I'm going to drag a piece from day one in there, the wave file. And let's see what happens, what you're prompted with. Parker's calling me. Well, I was chatting with my brother for a little while and when I came back, the pieces had cleared. They're still in the process of reviewing my ID to verify that I'm a legit human being, I guess. But the pieces are at least there. I'm gonna go through and see what it takes to get them ready uh, to be out in the world. So, I clicked on one of the items. I just wanted to show you what's on here. I'm not gonna make you uh, watch me fill all this out, but you might be curious to find out. It looks like you can set a template at some point. Uh, just declare that it's music, whether or not you are okay with people sampling it. You have a title, a description, uh, when it was created, where, does it loop, does it contain human voice, basic uh, tempo, spot for composer, publisher, performance rights organization. See, I'm a member of ASCAP, but I signed up for that as a, like a sheet music composer, not for recorded music, because it had, it specified that on the ASCAP website. So I may just leave that blank for now. And then your pricing, one thing I noticed, there's an option to let Pond5 set the price and then put in keywords. And then there's a place right here where you can click on a whole bunch of different options for the mood, what instruments are used, and what era, I guess it sounds like. That's good to know. I didn't know half this stuff would be on here whenever I got started. I'm going to go through and do that. I'm not going to make you watch me. So you'll see me back in a second after I'm done with all this. So I got them all uploaded and edited. I gave them all just generic titles for right now. We'll see how that works. For instance, one of them is just called Chill, Electronic Synth, Subtle Groove. Another one's called Dark Emotional Cinematic Title Sequence. Uh, we'll see how that works. I don't know that it's actually doing anything yet. It says in the status that they still need edits, but I'm wondering if that's because my application process hasn't finished yet. Out of curiosity, if you make music, have you ever applied to one of these before. Do you have any recommendations for places? Um, tell us your success stories or things that you think we should know so that we avoid them. I think I've done about all I can do today. We'll see how what happens. Maybe I'll check back tomorrow and I'll be able to show you more. So it's the next morning and I was sitting here drinking my coffee and I got this message from Pond5. 
your account has been verified. So that's pretty cool, less than 24 hours by a long shot. Uh, I'm gonna finish this coffee and then I'll show you what it looks like once you're verified. So I just pulled up the website and it looks exactly the same. It just says congratulations. So I think I have to actually go in and submit them. Yes, that does look different now. So the bottom of the page now has this on it. So I think I'm gonna do it with just the first one to begin with. All right, so I took them all, changed the price and hit submit for review. Now my dashboard looks like this. And notice it says pending review instead of needs edits. So I don't know what the timeline is on these approvals. I don't know if I'll get an email or if it'll just happen. I will jump back in here when I find that out. I'm in Dallas with my dad going to a fountain pen show. <laughs> Go figure. But this morning, I woke up to an email, and my Pond 5 tracks were approved. So the whole process took about a week. Whenever I get back to my home, I'll walk you through what the new interface looks like for that. Anyway, sweet. I'm in Pond 5. I'm also in Dallas. You might see some footage from the pin show. Maybe not. So success. It's about a week-long turnaround time. Now I have no idea how much money anybody even makes from Pond5 anymore, but hey, I got something out there, it's a start. So if I make anything worth talking about, maybe I'll check back in another year or so and let you know what I made from Pond5. Maybe by that point I've made it onto some other music libraries. Who knows? Thinking about trying out Taxi. We'll see what that's like. Uh, if you have no idea what that is, tune in later. So apparently Pond5 has this little referral program for its artists. Um, I'm not going to bore you with it, but if you happen to be looking for stock footage, uh, music, things like that, check my description. There's a link uh, to a referral code for you to sign up for an account and I get a little bit of a commission. So no big deal. Uh, I'm just going to toss it down there because Pond5 makes it available. Well, I hope you took something away from this. Uh, maybe you learned something, maybe you just enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you thought or if you have any questions. If this is the first video of mine that you've seen on YouTube uh, and you made it all the way to the end, maybe you'd like to check out some of my other ones. You can click here or here. And I'll see you later. Bye.